What is up, people? This is Wolf, and welcome back to Bleed's Rise of Heroes. Today, we're going to talk about tasks. So, there's a lot of ha things happening on screen right now, but let's focus and go into tasks. So, I tap it now, and I can see that I already have several things that I've accomplished today because I'm looking at the daily tasks, right? Again, at the bottom, you can see I have daily tasks, I have weekly tasks, of which I've also uh, completed one, and then I got my achievements. So tasks in general, as I said, help me to get additional rewards, equipment and XP and all kind of stuff. So there are a couple of things happening here. And the first thing I want you to take a look is you know, the list itself. And if I scroll down, I can see what upcoming tasks I will also have. When you look at a task, and you have on the left, you have icon of what it is that you're going to get. You have the description, in this case, collect idle rewards two times. I can also see a progression bar and also a numerical value. I can see how many uh, times of this task I've completed. So if we look at this, for example, I'll go back to the main screen and I'll collect my rewards for today or for the time that I wasn't here. I'll go back to the tasks and now I see that the progression bar is blue, one out of two. And if I tap it again, if I collect more rewards, this will be unlocked. Let's go up to one of the tasks that I've already completed. So it tells me that I need to upgrade my hero level. So I've done that, I already completed that. And now the button set change from proceed to collect. If I tap collect, I just got that reward. Now what else happened? Look at the top bar and you see that it progressed, right? And as you move, as you complete more tasks and you move from left to right, you unlock chests. Now let's do this again. I'm going to tap again the upgrade your gear task. I'm going to tap collect. Look what happens at the top bar right now i have 20 points i hit the first chest i can tap the chest and i can get the rewards right and again remember whenever you see something you can basically tap it and learn more about it and we'll go into this in another video let's look at another thing that i want you to to uh, look on the left icon of a task you see a number, right? And we can see at the top level, I'm on 20 points now. Let's collect the challenge your opponent in campaign combat. You saw what happened? It was worth 20 points. So I moved from 20 to 40. So now I can already collect my second chest. Cool. And that's how I do. So now I can see that, oh, if I'll collect idle reward once again, I'll get 10 points. And if I get the equipment rewards, I'll get 10 points. And that's how you, and that's basically how you look at the tasks. And this is why it's important to take a look every day when you start playing, look at the, at the tasks and try to complete as many as you can from the list, because you can basically every day you can basically complete everything and get to that rare large chest. But before we finish, let's go, we see that I've already finished one weekly task. And again, look at the top and you'll see when this was going to be refreshed. So I have five more days to complete this. And here I have better rewards, right? The chests are better because the tasks are harder. Again, same thing exactly. I got the icon, I got the number of points that I'm going to get. So I'm going, I'm about to get 10 points, uh, but I'll need 25 to get to the first chest. It's boost your skill level. So I've done that already. Let's collect. So I got 10 points and I need 15 more to get to that chest. Let's see what else can I do. So I can see that increase the level of a hero one or more 15 times. So Let's take a look at that for a moment, okay? I'll go back and I'll tap my heroes and let's go to one of my low level heroes because you can do that as well. 
I'm going to level this character up. And I'm also going to go to this character and I'll level that one up. And let's level up this guy. Also got a new skill. In the video of the heroes, we talked about the skills and exactly how they work. So I'm not going to dig into that. Let's go to the tasks. And now I see that I've completed the increase level of heroes. I've done it. So again, collect. I got 20 points. I need five more. So next thing I can do is increase the level of an equipment. Right? I did that one of five times. Let's do that. So I go in. As you remember from the video about the characters, I go in here and I level up the equipment. Max level is 4. I'm at 2, so I can level up it twice. I need an X. I need the helmets. Confirm. I used up all of my axes. I used up some of my helmets and I got this. Now let's go back. Let's go to the tasks. I did 2 level up of equipment. So let's try and level up something else. All right, improve, confirm. Let's level up this one as well. Confirm. Back to the weekly tasks, one more. And now you see the icon on the tasks. I go in and I can see that I've completed it. I'm going to get 10 points. Collect that and I have enough. I have 30 points. I got to the first chest. I unlock it, more rewards. And this is basically how you work with your tasks. It's very easy, very simple and very rewarding. This is a way to get tons of stuff while playing the game and the cool thing about the tasks is that you can basically sort of have goals specific goals per session and it helps focus your attention and you know make things better as you play blitz rise of heroes i'll see you again soon